Hi, I'm Debbie Humphrey, owner of Home Helpers of Clearwater, and today we're going to talk about senior placements. I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Amber Geyer from Pineapple Placements. So Amber, tell me a little bit about you. Good morning, Debbie. My name is Amber Geyer. I'm the owner of Pineapple Placements Senior Living Advisors. I help seniors and their families navigate the next steps through their senior living journey, whatever that step may be, whether it is staying at home with services such as home helpers or figuring out what type of placement is appropriate, such as independent living, assisted living, or memory care. So exactly what does a placement agency do? Well, we help families determine what level of care best fits their loved one's situation. We take their care, their demographics, their finances, the rep payee, and all the nuts and bolts are detailed on this specific individual. And we've helped the family find the community that can fit within that specific criteria. So tell us a little bit about what are the differences in senior living? What is senior living? Senior living, that's a great question. There are three major components. One would be independent living. Independent living would pretty much be like an apartment for 55 and up. No physical care is provided in any shape or form. It's more just an activity lifestyle for the senior to be socially engaged and have some amenities such as a continental breakfast and maybe one meal a day beyond that. Now, assisted living and memory care is where your care services start to come into place. There are staff on site 24 hours a day, seven days a week to provide whatever care the individual needs from bathing, to dressing, showering, meal prep, dining, transferring. Is it just medication management? But they also provide activities. Like I said, there is staff in the facility or community 24 hours a day. So every person in the building might need a special need or service, but each person has a personalized center care plan that the staff knows what that person needs and when they need that service. At each one of these communities, is there medical personnel on staff all the time? There is staff all the time in assisted living and memory care, but it doesn't actually have to be medical. They could be CNAs, health aides. We do have multiple licenses now within the state of Florida. And that is an important detail that needs to be known is that assisted living and senior living is not federally mandated. The rules and regulations are state by state. So in Florida, we do have multiple different types of license for assisted living and memory care. And based upon the type of license determines the amount of staff in the building. The state does determine by the number of residents how many staff are in the building. Now, if you have a special license called an extended congregate care or limited nursing services, those two types of communities are required to have a nurse in the building employed by the building 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you have a standard license community, your building can operate with just CNAs and resident aides. It does not require an actual medical professional. So Amber, tell us, how do you determine the most appropriate community for a senior? Yeah, I come in and I do a full assessment based upon their ADLs and IDLs, the amount of care they need, what they need. Do they need transfer to transition from transferring from bed to chair, chair to toilet, or is it more just social engagement? Every community is different, just like every person is different. Some people want very socialized communities where some people want very small home-like. So I take what that individual person needs and we want them to be in a comfortable environment just as if they were in their own home because an assisted living and memory care is now going to be their new home. And we don't want an individual to move into a community where they don't feel comfortable. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell us about senior placements? I'm a firm believer in every community, like I said, has their resident type and every resident has their community. And I'm here to provide options. I don't believe in providing my families and clients with just one option. I believe that every family should tour at least two to three communities to determine what best fits their loved one. Thank you, Debbie and Home Helpers for having me here today. Once again, my name is Amber Geyer. I am owner of Pineapple Placement Senior Living Advisors, we do primarily focus on the greater Tampa Bay area. However, we can help families anywhere throughout the state of Florida. If you'd like more information, you can reach us at our website, www.pineappleplacements.com or info at pineappleplacements.com or directly by phone at 727-460-3715. 
Once again, thank you and have a fantastic day. And again, I'm Debbie Humphrey, the owner of Home Helpers of Clearwater. Thank you.